So it's really hot and my alpha preview testing weekend has just come to a close. It's been really good and I wanted to share it with you guys. Obviously, yes, England top. It's the Euro final if you're watching this today. Exciting times, obviously going to be lots of alcohol. So I thought I better put this video out now because I was planning on actually doing this tomorrow. So it was going to be a Monday video. Yes, it's not World of Warcraft. If you're here for World of Warcraft content right this second in time, you're probably not going to enjoy it. But if you're looking for other games outside of WoW, maybe there's a bit of time in between phase one and phase two, or even when phase two comes, you know, there's going to be those downtimes where you probably want something else to play. And I myself, I'm going to be trying lots of games. I'm going to be on the new world beta later on this month, which I'll be sharing with you guys as well. And I'm, I'm looking at several MMOs, but just ways for advising you guys of how you can spend your time you know i'm gonna look at final fantasy 14 but i like you can tell by my face I'm not really that bothered about it but anyway make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoy this video and let's dive in and take a look at ashes so look let's get real for an alpha it looked phenomenal if any of you watched me on sj gaming live which links in the description that's my live streaming youtube channel specifically just on youtube obviously so check that out and make sure you come over and subscribe there for more new mmos wow everything basically just me live streaming but if you saw me there or you saw me on twitch wherever it doesn't really matter then you probably dropped in and asked things like oh like is this a wow killer is this going to be better than new world is it going to you know what we need to remember is this is in early alpha early development stages it's doing really well and it played phenomenally all weekend i was genuinely excited to wake up and log on a game and that's not happened to me for a while you know yes i still enjoy playing tbc but i don't i don't get that excitement of like yes gonna go and play you know that doesn't happen but that was happening with ashes and the reason i think it was happening with ashes is because the thing that took me by surprise is the combat and the combat system in general is actually really smooth and enjoyable now you might look at it and think this isn't the sort of combat that i enjoy you know it, it doesn't look responsive or anything like that it's very difficult visually when you're just watching to actually understand how smooth it is the combat specifically on the mage was really enjoyable and some things you can do like changing your abilities so it's a bit like a talent system don't get me wrong but you get x amount of skill points per level and you spend those in new skills or augmenting or making more you know your current skills that you already use more powerful doing extra things so i can show you this now at least so when we look at things like fireball you know it'll increase its damage it'll add a damage over time effect when you add extra points into this ability the same when we look at that black hole which is basically a slow you know it will add a slow it'll increase the radius or the duration or whatever you know you gotta remember this is early alpha so i'm not saying none of this is going to change but then at the end of the duration it'll explode if you've got three points in it this gives you a lot of customization and we've not even got the weapon skill tree in yet so there will be points that you can put in weapon there's points that you can put in passive which i was mixing passive and your actual skills because you can get you can basically get all the skills if you want to get all the skills but you're not going to use them all so i was using like a very single target focused build where you know i was taking crit and crit damage and then i was really focusing on the single target abilities like fireball and like drain essence or then i was going for a really chunky aoe spec and i was aoe grinding quite successfully towards the end of this actually where i was you know firing meteors down slowing them in the black hole and then you know dropping infernals on them and stuff like that you know it's really quite engaging gameplay and the way you can mix it up on the fly like if you come across a high level sort of elite mob that you want to kill you'll change your abilities around to suit that particular encounter i like that i like being able to do that on the fly and you could say well you, you can do that in wow you know you can just go and respec to be a more aoe spec or a more single target spec or whatever but when you're out exploring you haven't got that ability to be able to just swap things around on the fly now this could just be purely an alpha thing and it doesn't make it into the game actually at launch when it comes but i would keep it like that because i've i actually really enjoyed that style of gameplay now like i say you've got to remember this is alpha so when it, if you came in on the stream or you watched the stream and you're thinking yeah this doesn't look as good as wow it's because wow is polished wow's been out for years and years and years this is an alpha and trust me for an alpha to be in this state is pretty impressive now the questing system fairly generic there's nothing exciting about the questing system at all but is there ever anything exciting about a questing system you go to, to point a and get a quest you then go to point b over here and kill some mobs then you go back to point a again and you hand it in and get some xp or you go and collect some things or you know whatever 
but it's nice the way the quests chain one onto the other. I, I want to say in a linear progression, but it's not actually quite that linear because I was going around just exploring with the stream and then finding, you know, an NPC basically in the middle of nowhere, which I would never naturally found my way to and then that npc actually this one particular quest was phenomenal it was a great quest where you had to read a story and then you know do different things in a different order and don't get me wrong i'm not saying it's new it's not been done before but it's those sort of quests especially when you naturally wasn't guided there i was not taken to this npc it was purely because i'm gonna sound really sad i was looking for a dragon to kill <laughs> <laughs> that is genuinely what I was doing. And I found one, but couldn't kill it. But that aside, anyway. So questing system, fairly generic, obviously. There's not that much to expect out of a questing system. In fact, questing is generally just in your way to the real end game, obviously. Now, we saw some nodes level up. So the nodes are what basically start as like a crossroads and an encampment. You know, they level up to a city. Now, I saw various iterations of these nodes. And I even saw different nodes for, for different sort of factions you know where that particular race i shouldn't say faction that particular race has obviously contributed more to that node so it takes on the aesthetic of that particular race which was was brilliant it was brilliant to see the same city actually on two different servers where one was one race one was the other or certainly that's how it appeared anyway but it was yeah that that that's cool you know the node system is working it can be a bit confusing sometimes uh, well it was for me when i worked my way over to a crossroads where it's telling me that you know you need to participate in turning this into an actual an actual node you know get it to progress on and then it's like, well, I don't really know what I'm meant to do here. So I was just grinding away on mobs. Big shout out to a guy called EU Andy, who was who happened to be stood at this crossroads for ages. And then the second I ran off, it turned into a into a node, which was quite annoying anyway. But that aside, it was genuinely just really cool. And you know, the thing that's really changed my view, not just on Ashes, but actually what's driving me to go and try New World, what's driving me to go and try Final Fantasy XIV is what I really missed was that not knowing experience. You know, I log on to TVC every day. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I know exactly where I'm going to go. Someone says, let's go do a heroic. They say what heroic it is. You make your way there. There's nothing new to find out about the game, really. All right, we can look for some decent farming spots that have got high gold per hour. This was just a complete exploration journey from start to finish from the second i logged on, on friday to the second i logged off today i didn't have a clue what i was doing and that made it so enjoyable and the amount of times i died you know who likes dying in a game you don't like dying in a game but you don't mind dying in a game when you feel that it's working as part of your progression because you've died yes but now you're going to go back and work out why you died how you can change your abilities around what you need to do to make sure that you kill that mob and you don't die the next time and i had a, a quest line in like pirate city which was exactly like that and it was amazing an amazing quest quest and i was getting frustrated and people was telling me just to stop doing it because i just kept dying to to like this pirate warlock type mob and then worked it out changed my abilities around a little bit boom done it you know and that was a sense of, of progression for me you know it was an achievement when have you felt like that in wow recently and this is not a downer about wow i, I love playing well don't get me wrong but it, you just don't get that from wow and that's why i'm looking forward to trying these new games and sharing the experience with you and whether I think you should be excited about the game or not or whether you should play it or not. And Ashes of Creation, there's a lot, it's got a long way to go. A long, long way to go. So I don't want you getting too excited. But the combat is there. The questing system is as you would expect. You know, the group play is good. The, the classes, there's only three classes archetypes, actually. I should say archetypes, not classes. But there's only three that you can play, but they work well together. And there's going to be more, obviously. There's going to be 64 classes in total, which is absolutely mental anyway. But, you know, that looks really cool. The, the actual tree of how you, you get your class based on the two archetypes that you choose. But because the alpha was only at level 15 max and you need 25 to be able to get your second archetype anyway. So, you know, that's unexplored territory at the moment. But once... I explore it, I will be sharing it with you because there's going to be a month-long alpha that's going to be starting in the next few days. So there's going to be plenty more to find out and I'm going to find out for you, hopefully. So you can make an educated decision on whether you want to play this game or not. Now, outside of that, my big negative criticism 
quite honestly, it's crafting. The crafting's diabolical, but it's apparently just a complete work in progress. It's more or less, you might as well call it a placeholder. But at the moment, you go around, you chop down trees, you pick up herbs, you mine stuff like you would expect. Then you just go and speak to an NPC and like turn them into stuff. It's not, I didn't do much of it. I've got to admit, it might get really, really good. I don't know. But from what I saw, a bit too basic for me. I'm expecting a much more advanced crafting system when obviously it's refined when we're in the beta and when we're looking at a launch but i just thought i'd put that out there so you know i'm not saying it's all roses but it's pretty close and overall am i excited for ashes of creations and should you be excited for it i think if you want a bit of an old school mmo feel where it's community driven you have to socialize you have to do you know be grouped up to really excel and get the most out of the game if you like pvp because it's very, very, a lot of, well, PvP driven, I would say, even though there's a lot of PvE content, quite heavily PvP driven as well. If all of that ticks the boxes for you, and let's not forget player housing. If you want player housing, you want apartments in different cities and stuff like that. If that floats your boat like it floats mine, then yes, you should be excited for Ashes of Creation. But again, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.